Uh, good afternoon. I'm Major Andy Wark with the Middletown Police Department. And uh, for the media brief today, is going to be discussing the outreach event that we've held starting yesterday. It also goes until 8 o'clock this evening. That's out there off of 1500 block of Pershing Road. Uh, this has been in conjunction with uh, law enforcement. And also uh, we have the uh, Ohio State Highway Patrol here with us and other entities within the area that has assisted us in this. It's been a combination of drug interdiction, capitalized a lot with the outreach to help people that may need assistance. If they happen to be drug addicted, they want to have help. We want to make sure that we put our hands out there and try to get them the assistance they need so they are productive citizens for our society. Uh, within that being said, already just from some of yesterday's numbers, covering with the DEA, 0.2 milligrams can actually cause death. Uh, yesterday, uh, law enforcement, we recovered over 80 grams. That shows you what that population could do. Uh, the census from 2022 had a population of our city of 51,000. We're going back and forth around 53,000 now, I believe. Uh, this bridge effort was put together a lot with Recovery Ohio, and we have uh, Victoria Hensley with us here today. She was a main player on bringing all these entities together. And uh, one of the players that doesn't get enough credit on some of this is also our uh, courts. And at this time, I'd like to have uh, Judge Sharon please uh, come up to the camera. Thank you, Major. Chief. Uh, I, I don't have a whole lot to say. I think this is a wonderful opportunity. This is another tool in the tool belt that the, uh, our community can utilize to uh, address the drug addiction issues that our, our community faces and in coordination with that, the homelessness that our community faces. Uh, you're going to hear this name a lot. You've already heard it a couple times. Victoria Hensley is uh, the chief organizer. She's the one that brought the treatment providers uh, and the police department together. Um, Victoria is Middletown's Swiss Army knife. Uh, she does so much for this community in so many different ways. I wonder how many lives that she saved in the, in the course of her career. Uh, she started out as our QRT, uh, quick response. Back then it was heroin response treatment. Uh, and now uh, she's, that, that job has uh, expanded so much that, uh, and, and again, she just helps people gets them into treatment, gets them housing, gets them identification, gets them birth certificates, uh, just so much that she does. And she's coordinated this effort with Recovery Ohio. Um, you know, a lot of these people will end up in treatment. I know that the many, and maybe she'll have some numbers for you, have gotten into treatment just uh, during this uh, operation. Uh, unfortunately, some of them don't want treatment, and I'll be seeing some of them in court tomorrow uh, with uh, criminal charges, but even those people, uh, you know, there's the right time and the right opportunity to get out of jail and get into treatment, and hopefully uh, we'll see that happen, uh, even with the ones that aren't uh, requesting any help today. But like I said, this is just another weapon in, in the community's tool belt to help fight the drugs that are coming into our community. Uh, so much of that is methamphetamine right now. It's always been uh, opiates, uh, heroin, fentanyl, but uh, the methamphetamine is... is uh, taken over a lot um, but uh, this is this is uh, one step in, in our progress towards addressing those issues and it's a great uh, great opportunity that has been created by our police department and our community services and I thank you both that's all I have to say Victoria hello I'm Victoria with um, the hope line we have been working with the um, Milltown Police Department since 2016 um, it started with the HRT, which is the heroin response team. Um, then it moved to the quick response team. And then about four years ago, um, they came to us and said, hey, we really like the model that you're using for the quick response team. Can we use it to um, help the individuals that are unsheltered here in the city of Middletown? So that's what we've been doing. Um, I'm with police and fire three days a week in the city of Middletown, just providing resources to them. Um, I met Dick Meadows at the ODA conference in Cincinnati and so this is our first bridge event that we've hosted here in the city with the police department and um, Dick from the Ohio Department of Public Safety. It's been a wonderful event. Um, I do not have all the data and the numbers yet but those will be released. Um, what we wanted from this event was to get law enforcement connected with local resources um, so they have those 
um, and then to bring the resources to the community. Um, and that's what we did with this event. I think there's over 20 different providers at um, the park right now that are just giving out resources. So if it's um, BMV, um, to check like how do they get their license back? They're in recovery, like they're ready to go to work, but they need to drive so they don't go back into Judge Heron's court. Um, <laughs> so they're there. Um, Ohio Means Jobs is there. They have grant money um, for individuals that have been affected by the opioid crisis so they can go back to school. Um, we also have outpatient, inpatient, sober living. Um, there's just so many resources there and it's, it's brought right to them. Um, and that is also what we do on a weekly basis. We provide those resources and bring them to them. And then we'll also transport those individuals or any other barrier. We're just gonna eliminate those barriers. So thank you guys. Hi, Dean. I'm Lieutenant Mark Nichols with the Ohio State Highway Patrol. I help coordinate our Piqua District and Wilmington District Criminal Patrol team. First and foremost, I wanna thank Chief Morick for inviting the Highway Patrol to participate in this detail. At a time when all law enforcement is kind of running thin and we're asked to do more with less, it's great to be able to collaborate and come in, especially on a common goal, and something as serious as the opioid epidemic, which affects such a large portion and a large part of the population of Ohio. So thank you for that. We appreciate coming in. Um, I'm gonna echo on Victoria Hensley. One of the things that I was so impressed with was how she pulled these resources from every sort of aspect to come in here. I did sneak by the park yesterday in an unmarked car um, <clears throat> and was able to see that and it was impressive. So I think she's clearly the kind of the, the head of this organization kind of ties it all together. So I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm Dick Meadows from the Ohio Department of Public Safety. And on behalf of Director Wilson and his staff, uh, I'd like to utter those same comments. Thanks, Chief. We'd like to, to thank uh, the Middletown Police Department for hosting Operation Bridge. Um, special thanks goes out to you and your staff. And uh, I don't see uh, Sergeant Wilcox here, but you know, with what him and Victoria has done here, um, how do you measure that? I'd also like to thank some state partners, the Ohio State Highway Patrol, the Ohio Narcotics Intelligence Center, uh, the Ohio Adult Parole, Ohio BMV, and Recovery Ohio. I'd also like to thank Victoria. Her and I have been in communications for several days, every day. Um, it's just amazing what she does here. Uh, as you've heard everybody else say, you, you can't measure or replace the stuff that she does. Um, but what I'd like to also leave with you is the efforts doesn't stop after today with what they do here um, with Operation Bridge. These folks work every day to assist those who suffer from substance use disorders and they provide them with the necessary resources every day and they do this throughout the year. Um, you know Operation Bridge is here to bring attention to the great work that you do every day. Thank you. In closing, I just want to thank everybody for working one as a team and bringing everything together to help our community, and I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Now, that will conclude the media brief at this time. Thank you. Okay, are you taking questions? Uh, cautionary tale. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> we got the team up here, so let's roll with it. Um, I, I don't know who this would be best directed at, um, but can someone give us an idea of where, where do things stand in Middle This will end on me. <laughs> I'll take the volleyball. Is when you get into the the opiates and also just in the cocaine, it seems to be a consistent and it comes in cycles. Uh, right now, we're doing really well, and a lot of this has to do with the ladies and gentlemen that we have up here now bringing these resources out, so people have an option. Like, yeah, I, I wanted to get some help, but I'm not quite sure. We're like, hey, we're here to help you. And that's going to help us make us a stronger city to help the community because some of these people affected are brothers, sisters, husbands, wives. So we want to put that out there. And in conjunction with that, you got a lot of your federal agencies that reach out throughout the nation that's trying to bring everything under control. And just kind of a clarifying question um, What role did the police department play in this kind of outreach event? Was this just connecting people with resources?
resources or you know were there arrests made as part of this uh, on the law, law enforcement side some of this i can go ahead and already discuss there has been some arrests made uh, and we have recovered some narcotics as i covered earlier uh, we've got at least 80 grams already of fentanyl uh, but in that aspect is when they call it operation bridge we want to hit that side on the homeless the people that have the addictions and this team here helped put that together there's some individuals that want help and they're ready for help we're here for them if they refuse their help then it throws them back onto law enforcement side so anyone that there was cause for arrest they were given the option treatment or jail is that right is, we don't want to put that volleyball out there as far as you get A or B. Some people are not always ready to have treatment or want to seek assistance. We want those individuals that are committed. And uh, with Victoria, she'll count, she'll talk to them, and she's very good at being able to uh, decipher everything if those individuals actually need the help. This is not a, a free gate like, oh, I'm just going to go for treatment so I don't face a charge. That, that is not the answer. We've got to handle this and look at this as a totality.